So let's look at the HTC Mozart unlocked device from India. So first let us look at uh, the hardware of the device. So so what is it actually made of? The hardware, the front portion, most of the front portion is covered by the display. The display seems to be good. The display has, I think, it's a 3.5 inch screen with three capacitive buttons. You can just see here the back, the one, the center is called the start button and the third one is called search. And apart from these three buttons, you have the volume up down keys then you have a camera button then you have a power off or lock button so what else you have a 3.5 mm jack i think you can find it here then you have a speaker then you have a 8 megapixel camera with xenon flash then you have a mic over here with all the proximity sensors accelerometers etc so this is a brief look at what it has the hardware specs so let's look at how it's the body is the body actually it's a unibody styling it is made up of a full aluminium it feels good it feels sturdy it feels solid it's just as you expect from a how it feels from a smartphone it truly fits in your hand even in your packet so you don't have to worry that you have to give up your size and weight when you go for a smartphone it really feels nice so you can just see how the aluminium is here it feels good in your hand and then you can just remove this cover to have battery or the sim card so you yeah, the capacity buttons will be problem in some cases where like gaming when you just hold the when you just hold the four leg in a horizontal position when you are playing some game you may accidentally touch these keys often even I got this problem but apart from that the hardware is super in current in the Indian smartphone scenario it's one of the beautiful hardware which is available now for a very attractive price it comes just for a 24k so this is for hardware uh, I want to show you some display. The display is a super LCD screen with the 480 cross 800 resolution. It looks super crispy and smooth. It's so responsive as well. So what do you expect from a smartphone of this range? So that's from display. Then other things you might have known. If you have any other questions, just add it in the comments. I will show you what are all of the so let's look at the software side so this is the lock screen I think it goes on well in the camera yeah it's good right you can see everything so this is the lock screen the lock screen has some essential info such as time the upcoming notifications the mail no, mail notifications I mean how many mails you got how many missed calls you got how many SMS everything you have to just swipe up to just go to the start screen this is the screen which it will appear so this is the start screen the start screen composed of the tiles these are called tiles which is by microsoft by them it's by design so i think it's clear i want to make sure you can see that uh, yes yeah here we go so the first tile we have we are going to see is the phone hub the phone hub actually the basically I want to tell you one thing the whole phone experience is divided into six hubs the first thing is the phone hub the next thing is the people hub then you have the mail email hub then you have pictures hub then you have office xbox zoom etc so hubs are nothing but a panoramic applications designed by a metro design it gives you access to the appropriate hubs for example, I'll just go to the people hub. The people hub lets you to go find the contacts you have among your phone. The contacts in the sense it's not just the phone contacts. It aggregates contacts from Facebook, Windows Live, etc. You can just see here it lists all my friends. You can just sort by their name. 
or just you can just press something then you can just press any name if you just press a name you have his latest status updates you can just call a text or write on his phone and you just swipe on the left you have the watch new feed I haven't connected to the internet yet so if you have connected to the internet you will have his latest updates from all the windows live services and facebook here so this is the people hub people hub is really useful when you want to keep update with your latest of your friends so this is people hub this is my recent contacts you just press any of them and you can just go to them the facebook profile and comment whatever you want so this is people hub then the next thing is the messaging messaging works as you expect you have a conversational view just when you just press here it will just show you a conversation the left side shows what i have received the right side shows what i have replied to okay? so this is the messaging then i want to show you how the on-screen keyboard the on-screen keyboard looks so awesome it works super set too just see here the sound even the sound is so good you can just type here and just type something and just send you have auto corrections appearing here can you, you have, even have copy paste you can just press here can you have copy and paste you can just copy or paste however you want so this is that the next thing is hotmail wait i want to i think the camera is a little bit I will adjust the camera. Yeah, it's fine now, right? Yeah, here we go. The Hotmail Hub. The Hotmail is nothing but the, the email. Whatever email you have, either Hotmail or Gmail, it's just a mail, email hub. You can just configure it with your own mail ID. It will have filters over there the all, the unread messages, the urgent messages, everything. Then you can just sort out by folder, everything. It looks super cool. It supports HTML5 email too. For example, just see here. This is HTML5 mail. Sorry, HTML. Sorry for that. So it supports, it even it supports attachments too. I want to show you an attachment. Something who, yeah, here, here we go. We have an attachment. It's a PDF file, right? You can see the Adobe logo there. I'm just opening that. Let us see what happens. If you have installed the Adobe PDF Reader in your, it's, it's available free in the marketplace. You can just install. So you have the whole Adobe PDF files. So you can read. It's super smooth. It works cool. So here we go. The next hub is called Pictures Hub. Uh, yeah, Pictures Hub allows you to share photos among your friends see what your friends have done with their cameras then you can just comment them like them etc so the same concept as in the people sir have the feeds from your friends i mean the only the photo feeds either from the service called facebook or Flickr. you have all the photos uploaded by your friends here it will be displayed like this you can just comment on any of the photo you can just add or like so that's what's new feed then when you just scroll down you have your own album all the photos favorites etc you have these photos photo you have super smooth multi-touch it works super cool you have one touch photo upload to the online services such as facebook windows live etc so this is pictures hub so the next hub is called xbox live it's a game hub it's truly an amazing experience it gives you access to thousands of games at the Windows Marketplace. Windows Marketplace has over 10,000 applications as far now. So you can access any of the games here. You can buy, you can try free games, etc. For example, I think I can show you some game. How it works. I'm just pressing NFS. So this is how. Here we go. can see the graphics is awesome the game runs super smooth the accelerometer is smooth I will show you some 3d stuff here so this is a car right I'm going to buy a car so 
So here you go. Some car I will show you. And just press a car. Yeah. I'm just pressing to buy the car. So this is how the car will appear. I think you can understand how smooth it is. It goes smooth. Yeah. That's it. When you just press a Windows key, it will come to the start screen. And just press the back key to go back to the NFS. Then you have the Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer works super smooth. See. You have multiple tabs here. You can open another tab. You can switch between the tabs. Browser works as you expect. The full desktop experience. Then you have Office Hub. Office Hub lets you access all the office stuff you have. It's, it can be in either Word or PowerPoint or Excel. You can create them as well as share and collaborate and edit in your phone. So it's a full blown enterprise productivity experience. You have a SharePoint support, which is the only mobile which supports SharePoint. So the next thing you have the music hub. The music hub is nothing but the Zoom, the full Zoom experience inside your smartphone. It if you have a Zoom Pass subscription, you can stream over two million songs in your smartphone. So you have the whole world's music in your phone. You can access whatever music you want. So it works as you expect. For example, I am pressing a video. You have fast forward. You have a video like this. It works as you expect. So I'm just pressing the back button. Here. It will just pass where you have. You have the history. You have a new album list. You have other things. So this is music hub. Then you have a metail. Metail allows you to update your own status in Facebook, Windows Live, etc. For example, when I click my Metail, I have the status update here. When I just click, you can just have a post to whatever message you have. So that's a Metail. Right? And I'm just going back. So you have a marketplace. The marketplace lets you access the thousands of applications which is in the Windows Mac phone marketplace i mean the zoom marketplace so i haven't connected to internet so it's there it won't display anything so let's go back to something then you have a calendar the calendar it's uh, again an amazing application it comes handy when you whenever you want to fix an appointment share your agenda you can draw i want to show you like one cool thing which has a month view you can just see it just zooms out into a month if you want to see your appointments on 16, just press 16, it will zoom in. So it's an amazing work. So apart then after calendar, you have the few HTC apps. HTC apps are called, which are the OEM apps, which only your HTC devices will have. Other Dell or other Windows Phone makers won't have it. So these stocks, photo enhancer, connection setup, converter, this HTC hub, everything is all exclusive to HTC phones. So when you swipe from the start screen, you have a list of apps, whatever you have installed. You can just go to any of the apps. So one cool thing about this, this HTC or any Windows Phone 7 is that all the applications have a consistent interface. You just looked at some panoramic interface, right? We are swiping right and left. The same thing continues over all the applications which you have here. So, for example, I will show you some Facebook. If I have some internet, I think it should work. Yeah. This is my one of my friends have signed it previously. So, this is how Facebook app will be. The same text based. You have the top news here. You can just swipe. You have photos here. If I have internet, I can show you a more clear thing. So, I'm just coming out. Uh, I want to show you the same thing. You have for the another application, IMDB. You might have noticed the a website. So even the IMDB has the same panoramic experience, which is super smooth, super cool. You won't get bored of this interface. It works with the way you want. It's so authentically digital. It's the metro design. The core design is part of all Mac. Most of the applications are ninety nine percent. Even the seismic, it's a wonderful Twitter client. Likewise, you have thousands of apps that have the same consistent experience which you can enjoy. So this is Windows Phone 7. You have many upcoming updates to Windows Phone 7. 
which en enables you the multitasking capability which you can switch between multiple applications without exiting them right so then at last but now the least is a Bing experience on Windows Phone the Bing experience can be accessed with the search key over there here I'll show you so you have you find a search key here right just press the search key oh sorry just press the search key you have a Bing experience you can it displays the daily photo of the Bing from the desktop you can just search for anything you have a, even a voice search too you can do voice search as well the search button is contact sensitive so if you press a search button on the home screen it will display the Bing if you go into the people hub and press the search button it will let you search contacts so I think you pretty much understand what I told so this is a quick look of Windows Phone 7 you have I I mean uh, the, this phone particularly has the Nodo the latest Windows Phone update uh, so which lets you to copy and paste between the apps so you have many up, uh, series of updates for Windows Phone 7 in the future and with Windows Phone 7 the HTC hardware it's an it gives you a truly amazing experience smartphone experience it feels good it, the software the software is very trendy very smooth very fast so that's the smartphone that's why how the smartphone should be so it's HTC Mozart on device by Pradeep thanks